People of YouTube, hello and welcome to another episode of XCOM Multiplayer. Today I'm gonna be once more using the the most fun squad probably I've used in a long time. At least the the last episode that I recorded was great. And I I have no I guess illusions about, you know, being able to repeat that um fun and exciting match, but I do wanna see more matches with this squad and see how they fare. And again, they're very fragile. Um they are um they can be demolished very quickly and countered very effectively, I think, in in many cases. But uh, nonetheless, they are very uh, they're they're very much uh, a fun squad. They're a lot of fun to use. So um, I'm gonna briefly remind you before we go to ranks uh, who is in the squad. So we have a sectoid commander with his body sectoid. Then we have a thin man. Uh, we have a drone. We have a seeker and a chrysalid. So you can already see that it's two the most uh, marginally useless units that you know they can be. Pretty good in certain situations and very fun. Um, so that's why that's why they're here, and hopefully uh, we have we're gonna have another fun match in uh, in the ranked thing uh, today. It seems like we have an opponent here, Mr. Shapovalov. Sounds familiar, but again, London server. I don't know. Anything could happen. So this is Mikhail from Saint Petersburg, with 190 hours. I'm ready too, Mikhail. Let's do this. You have no idea what kind of crap squad I'm bringing. And I hope that you will enjoy and, and be surprised somewhat that this is actually happening in reality and is, is not some part of some sort of fan fiction. Are, are you kidding me? Not this map again. Seriously? Why does it have to be this map? Uh, I don't like this map. I just don't like this map. This map is a bit crap. Okay. So that should be direct flight, right? Whee! It's such a long distance, such a long distance. All right, anyway, let's carry on. We see things, but not enough. Uh, you, my good sir, are gonna do the same thing we already once did, and I think it ended up in a video, which is you're just gonna go fly up and come over here. Something we've been doing for, for some time now. All right, very nice. Well done. Well done. Okay, now the lead of Chris is probably just gonna dash into here in case uh, suitable human hosts appear. And uh, the sector commander is gonna come up here because he fears nothing at all. Uh, then we're gonna have our Thinman up there. Basically, the same thing I did in that one match that I probably included. In one of the videos, I think so. Uh, not necessarily. So you may have no reference point for, you know, what I'm referring to, but that's okay. Ah, look, he's friends with Art Laskutov, and uh, also I'm sorry. Remember I'm sorry? I remember I'm sorry. I think I'm play. I've played him like twice now. And yeah, yeah, everyone knows Art Laskutov, obviously. Oh, hello. Is that a floater dropping on me? Isn't it? That's strange. Thought it would be. I wonder what that was. Let's quickly check for suspicious activity. Um, I see no evil, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Definitely see no evil. Uh, let's go over here. So yeah, XCOM, small world, you know. Everyone knows everyone. There's only so many people playing it. Okay, anyway, seems fine. Okay, eye in the sky. Let's do this. Show me what you got. Okay, two enemy units. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's great! What's the other one, though? I just saw other one briefly, but then I cannot see anymore. Okay, okay no more, not much time left, unfortunately. For us. Where was the other one? Oh, there's a thing there. Ah, shit, I wish I knew what it was. And I'm, I could prepare for it. Why did he not cloak his thing? That's just strange. Alright, let's put this guy... here. And, ah, oh, this is a bit dangerous, but... Okay, let's, it's fine, let's do it anyway. I should have explored a bit more before I went over there, but let's, let's do it now. Whoa, shit. 
<laughs> Alright. Where is the thin man? Come on. Let's do it. Just poison everything that is in there. I hope that it's gonna poison everything. <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh, man. This is not gonna work out, is it? And they have a... Some kind of unit that managed to... Contract my guy. I'm just gonna come over here. Damn it. Is this the last one? Alright, anyway. Shit. So what's the... I can't really tell what, what the hell's going on there. So they have a seeker... A... Some part of human unit that is immune... To... Um, to poison. And... And... And the second... Sexoid commander. Okay. Well, if I blow up that car... Do I doubt I can throw that far? That's really no problem. Oh, I wish I could actually throw that far, but I don't think I would be able to do that. Because if that if that car blows up, that's just gonna be the end of it all. Oh man, that could be so cool. I can probably come over here. I drop... Oh, I don't think he's gonna make it. I don't think he's gonna land there. But they would... Would that even kill them, though? I'm not even sure at this point that he would kill them. So he can actually still stealth even if I'm looking at him, right? That's no problem for him. And he will definitely see what the hell's going on there. Because he's gonna fly over. It's a bit crap. The situation is a little bit crap. I probably should have tried bringing in the chrysalid. That way, possibly. Oh, man. Alright, he's, he's, he's gone. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. So that's not gonna work out. And one of them's coming over this way. It's probably a grenade? Where is his seeker? Why don't he? Why didn't he scout me out? That's a bit strange. Ooh, damn! He's, he's right there. Now I could definitely kill that guy. Um, but that doesn't really help me enough. Oh, because they have the control of the thin man, which is a really crap unit to control. To be honest, I mean, what the hell controls a thin man anyway? Let's take a better look at things here. Alright. So, we have vision on this dude. I could totally eat him alive. Question is... How far can my grenade go? So, my grenade can go that far. Or, in this case, nowhere. If I come all the way... Over here, I doubt that it's gonna reach actually. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, something like that. So, I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's almost enough, but not really. That's a shame. That is a shame. Can I possibly kill the Thin Man now without needing to do any bullshit? Yes, I can. Okay. That's cool. Alright. Now what we need to do next... Is... Hopefully that's going to be able enough to... To grenade that, that guy. It, I think it is. I think it is. Excellent. Uh, now, can I possibly... It is possible I can kill him with the drone if he does crit, but I... No, it didn't work. Okay, so chrysalid is the only option, unfortunately. So in order to do that, we need to bring the chrysalid down here. He's obviously immune to the poison, so that's not a problem. And then he can eat this one. 
alive. That still leaves us in a very difficult situation. Hmm. I should have rushed them with the chrysalis when, the, when I first saw them. That would be a good good thing to do. What is this guy looking at? Is he looking at the chrysalid or the drone? I wonder. Man, losing a thin one was a bit shit. I should have probably left him on the other side, but I'm not sure if that's... What? How can you miss a grenade? What, what, what was that even? That's weird. Uh, right, so the uh, sector commander moved, so he cannot move again. So technically, we may manage to capture his mind. Now, their bullshit seeker is still around, and I don't know where. And that's a bit of a problem. Because he can also take shots. And that's not something I'm happy about. What we can do is bring the sectoid command. So, mind merge with the commander. That is dangerous, though, because the seeker could kill the sectoid and then we lose everything. But it's probably the risk that we need to take. So, mind merge with the commander. Bring the commander into the building here, where he will be able to see the other commander and try to mind control him. I mean, that's that's the only way I see it. Where is this guy? Are you going to attack the chrysalid? I'm going to kill you, though. Unless you use this guy, and then I can mind control him. That's fine with me. Okay, well, like guess that kind of works? Possibly? <laughs> oh, oh, this is fun. Oh, this is fun. Okay, all right, okay. Um, so this guy is standing there. Can I reach this one? I can actually reach him. And you know what? Let's let's fucking do this. All right, sectoid, you gotta merge with your friend here. Okay, merge with him. Boom. Let's see if we can we can do this. Oh, this is gonna be so exciting. It, it may as well fail, but if it doesn't fail, it is really cool thing. Okay. Um, so we, let's see if I can see any of them. If I can't see any of them. Yes, I can see him. What is my control percentage? 100%. That's actually not too bad. He doesn't have a grenade. I could just mind control him. Or I could mind fray him and put eggs in him. Um, but then I'm left with this thing here. So I'm just going to mind control him. Actually, this is less fun. But this is something that will help me actually win the game. My other option was to mind fray him. And then uh, use the chrysalid to finish him off and get a second chrysalid. But I'm not going to go with that. Instead, I'm going to bring the chrysalid over here. What is? What are you doing, chrysalid? Please don't do bullshit. Okay. And kill this thing. Seeker killed by a chrysalid. I think that's still, that's still pretty good. I mean, in my opinion. I think that's pretty cool. And now we have this guy to chase down. When we don't have much of an aim on him. But hopefully we'll still be able to do it. Plus we have the chrysalid. With one health though. I mean that's not great, I know. Um, hmm. He's gonna run, right? He's, he's must. That's what he needs to do. He's, he's gonna start running. Uh, I should have probably brought the drone on the other side. So I have like, what, four units to chase him down with, and I have three turns basically to kill that guy. But he should be still under the effects of that poison. Because I now see him. And wait, who's the... Actually, who is the host? Isn't he the host? Or am I the host? I'm not even sure who's the host, but anyhow, he should be experiencing some problems from the poison. Ah, uh, no. That that was the wrong choice there. G GG, I think. I think that is G plus G there. Yep, and he quit. Alright. <laughs> there we go. Oh man, this squad is actually turning out to be pretty cool. I um, I haven't actually lost the game with this squad yet. And that, that is pretty extraordinary, I think, in my opinion. Anyway, this was probably not as much fun as the last one, but, you know, managing to kill a Seeker with a Chrysalid... That's pretty rare. That's worth like its its own episode. So anyhow, I, I did enjoy this. Hope you guys did too. And if you did, 
enjoy it. Please consider supporting the video in any way you can. And I'll see you next time. Bye.